What's going on guys? This is just some rain outer bands of Hurricane Idalia. Not really being impacted here. Everybody in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. Hope you're safe. Hope you're doing well. With that said, part one video in the title asked, was it the reversing valve or the compressor? I chose the reversing valve. This video is going to show me replacing the reversing valve and give you the correct answer whether or not that actually fixed the problem. With that said, whoever left the correct answer in the comments of video number one, your name's going in a hat. 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Surprise, surprise. There's going to be another video of me drawing those names, announcing the winner, SC440 field piece meter. So watch this video, find out whether you got it right. There'll be another video in a few days posting who actually won. Good luck. My balls on the front porch, chicken picking. My mom's in the kitchen cooking chicken. And Flo was tuning up the dope, bro. Uncle Joe. <laughs> for it. This is such a small valve. I'm gonna, I don't like this stuff. I typically try to just 
keep water flowing on each fitting and do one fitting at a time. But this is a tiny valve and I really don't want to take any chances with it. on these tiny valves getting that one in the middle because it's so tight in there having to get these torches sometimes it's better if it's in the inside the unit right because you got this coil sitting behind it and getting to the back of these fittings there's a little bit of a pain in the ass because you don't want to that's an aluminum coil back there so you don't want to fucking screw that up right the larger valves, you've got a little bit more spread in here, so it's a little easier to get your torches around while you're trying to get to those places. Get back in three inches. reason I'm okay with pouring water on this even one fitting at a time is because 
these bells or fittings are overlapping that pipe. So if I pour any water down here, as I do each it's fitting to, bre to breeze it, it's not going to run up in the pipe. It's going to run down the pipe. So I'm not going to get any water right. in the system. That's why I'll braze this one first. And then I'll come down here and put some cool gel on it. But I'll pour water as I do each fitting. Just because if you sit here and try to do all those fittings at one time, you're going to build up so much heat in this valve. Mm -hmm. You start seeing your stickers bubble and melt, then you're going to have a problem with it. So what I'll do is I'll get this one, cool it down, do this one, overlap them pour water on it and it runs down the side it doesn't get in the system one at a time right. and that way I never let it sit here and just build heat and build heat and build heat so all right Dryer. So, uh, oh. just now we pull a vacuum and charge it up. Now, let me get my meter out real quick, make sure I still got 24 volts down here. I was trying to tuck those wires back and I hit a piece of the fucking spine fan went in one of the wires. I saw a little spark. <laughs> mm. Hopefully I got it off quick enough. Yes, we have a light. Well, all right, guys. The reversing valve. The reversing valve fixed the problem. We've got 407C back in it. Our compressor is good.